Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my first ever 2017 Halloween tutorial. I'm going to be doing this it glammed up, bitched up it. So let's get started. I'm going to take this white bone color on my brow bone just so that it can pop out when we do our other transition colors. To get started with the eyes, I'm going to take this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab palette and we're going to take this deep burgundy color. We're going to apply this as our transition shade. Once we have that all blown out and blended, we're going to take a smaller brush and we're going to pile this more onto our crease and it's going to be deeper and darker and you can make it as dark as you want. Once we have that color blended, we're going to take a black eyeshadow. It's really important that it's pigmented, that way it can show up and not turn gray on you. So this is from the Morphe and Jaclyn palette. This black is amazing. So I'm just taking a really thin brush and I'm going to apply that so I can trace where my cut crease is going to go. And then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to apply the black deeper so it could be deeper and darker and it can pop out when we do our cut crease. Here I'm reapplying the white bone color eyeshadow. Basically it's just straight up white and I just reapplied it so it could be more intense and then we're gonna take our blending brush and blend that all out. Now here I'm gonna start cutting my crease. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in a very thin brush so I could cut it. And yeah, I fast forward through this just because it's pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm just applying it all over my crease and applying the same white eyeshadow that I put on my brow bone. I'm applying it to set the concealer and so that our cut crease, cut crease can pop out. <laughs> now we are moving on to our face and with the power of editing, boom, we have our lashes and our wing liner done. So here I'm applying my primer and this is the Hourglass of Elle primer. I'm going to apply a very light foundation like 10 times lighter than my face i don't even know girl it's so light and i'm just gonna apply this with the beauty blender all over my face So here I was applying the same MAC foundation that I used on my face as my concealer but then I thought like what the hell the Tarte Shape Tape that I have is the same color so that I just went and applied the concealer on top of the MAC foundation and it covered pretty darn well and now I'm going to blend both sides of the concealer once I have that blended I'm going to take the RCMA No Color Powder which is like straight up white translucent powder and I'm just going to apply this on my whole entire face so that it can be matte and flawless and it can last all night to so whatever party you're going to go to your face is going to last so I applied it with the beauty blender and then I swept sweep sweeped yeah sweeped away the excess powder that I had on my face I'm pretty darn sure it doesn't have contour, but this is the glammed up version. So girl, we're going to go all out. So I applied the Kat Von D contour shade, the gray tone color, and I used the beauty blender just to sharpen it up. And I applied it also on my forehead, both sides of the cheeks, air war girl. So now I'm going to go under my lash line and I'm taking this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. If you want to, if you have this palette, you could just use that eyeshadow as your top color instead of using the Morphe palette because I'm pretty sure it will come out bomb because this literally looks red. So yeah, I'm applying that as my transition shade and then the dark burgundy color, I'm applying it on my lash line and then I'm putting the black just so that it can be a little bit more intense and so that it can blend out to the black that we're about to do on our cheeks like the little triangle. Now we're moving on to our face, so I'm going to take the same Natasha Denona palette with the same red color eyeshadow and we're basically, this is the easiest part guys, we're basically going to apply the eyeshadow on the bottom and then blend it upwards, just like that. 
just flick it upwards, start at the bottom and then flick it up. It's so easy, anybody can do this. Now here I'm applying a little bit of red under my brow bone because later on I'm going to connect it to the top with some black eyeshadow but I totally forgot to film the black part like I don't know how it got deleted somehow I don't know but basically it's the same thing that I did all over the face so here I'm applying again the red Natasha Denona color and I'm just going to make a little triangle start at the bottom on your close very very close to your lash line and then flick it down so now here I'm applying the black from the Morphe eyeshadow palette. The same thing with the red, start at the bottom with the most color and then flick it upwards. Now I'm starting with the bottom and here you got to be very careful because with my left eye I brought the black a little too low and girl once you go black you cannot go back so just be very careful you couldn't even tell when I did the end result because I made it work so anyways I'm here doing my lip liner I'm using a NYX lip liner I'm gonna link the color down below but it's basically just a burgundy color and I'm bringing out my smile lines not the lines but like a little like a little horn I don't know girl a little triangle because we're gonna connect it to the eyeshadow on the bottom of our lash line I'm applying the brightest red liquid lipstick that I have in my collection and this is the Kat Von D outlaw liquid lipstick it's so good and bright and beautiful and then I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow from the Morphe palette and apply it on our outer corners of our lips just to give an ombre effect. I'm reapplying the liquid lipstick and then blotting it with my finger so that I can blend it even further. Now I'm gonna connect the little lines that I did on the sides of my lips to my lower lash line. So here you gotta be very careful as well because with black you cannot go back. And then I'm going to apply the red to blend it upwards and then reapply the black where you see the line. You're going to make the line a little bit darker and blend it to the black eyeshadow that you have under your lash line. It's difficult, but it's self-explanatory in the video, so just, just watch it, okay? So here I'm doing the nose. I basically just did a very small circle on the tip of my nose. I used the black eyeshadow from the Morphe palette. You guys, if you don't have this Morphe palette, you need to get your hands on it. It's literally the best ever. So now I'm applying the NYX lip liner on my nose just to get the same ombre effect as our lips. And then the liquid lipstick from Kat Von D on the center of our nose just to make it really really bright and then I'm gonna apply a white eyeshadow just to give like a little highlight on the side of our nose I don't know I just thought it looked cute and then yeah just reapply the white to your intensity and now I'm gonna apply some highlight because what is a glammed up it without some highlight girl we need some highlight so apply as much highlight as you want I applied it on the sides of my cheeks on the bridge of my nose and now moving on to my inner corners, I applied the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow color and I don't know the exact name of it but I'm going to link it down below just in case you guys want to know it's going to be down below. And I feel like this just pulled the look together and it just made it glammed up and fierce and bitchy. So yeah, this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave any suggestions down below of any future videos. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!